You can be behind me. Okay, I don't want to block the road. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah. Good. Can't really see. Hey, everybody. It's time for another rocket launch. It's at the end of October. We've had a long break. Um, I went on vacation for a while, and then I had to think about how we were building rockets because the last launch, you might remember, was a nightmare. So I've made a lot of changes to how the parts are assembled and um, revisited the rear um, chute deployment. And we have some examples of that today. And this is really a test launch. So I'll be just testing out some of the theories um, about how to construct the parts and put them together to make them more reliable today. Um, I might chat about some of that stuff as we um, go through the rockets. Meanwhile, Casper will help me get those uh, presented and then launched. There's our little fleet for today. Nothing huge, because we're just testing out some theory. This rocket is called Chickadee. It's a nose cone deployment like the normal ones. It's supposed to go 500 feet in the air with its B engine. It's also supposed to reach 141 miles per hour. Three, two, one. Wow. That was very straight, yeah. but will it deploy? It doesn't look like it has. I'm thinking no, but it hasn't gone ballistic. It will yeah. be a feather fall. Holy jolly. There is the wreckage of the first rocket, the B. It did not deploy, so it was a nose deploy and something went wrong. Let's it's see. Gonna try to, Casper's gonna try to pull the nose cone out to see if it's just stuck in there. Nope, the it should've worked. The nose cone was already out when it landed, but yeah. you see it broke on the this seam instead of where it was uh, supposed to come out. Oh, yep, that's what's happened. All right, well, all right. This rocket is titled Windsock. It's our first rear deployment of the day. It has a C and it's supposed to go 1,040 feet at 275 miles per hour and weighing 79 grams. All right, now this is one style of rear deployment. Yeah. This one we're gonna hope the engine mount separates from the body. Um, we have another kind which we'll explain when we see it. Let's launch her up. All righty. Three, two, one. Nice launch. Is that a Oh, it's trying it's to trailing. deploy. Oh, oh it worked. Circle. It only it ended up. Oh, it's going to be recoverable. No, that was in the pit. I was think. it in the pit? Yeah. Uh, we'll take a look later. The rocks in the tree as well. Yeah. Well, at least the rear deployment worked. Yeah. This is Windsock MX. It also has a C and should reach 200 miles per hour. It's another rear deployment in the same style and should fly up 1,000 feet. All right, let's see how she goes. Three, two, one. Very straight. Oh, and there's the. And I think oh, it did. It deployed. It just hasn't unraveled yet. Yeah, it's tangled, but it did deploy out the back. But it is trying to reach. It is partially ballistic, I think. Look at how slow that falls for a ballistic rocket. Nice. Hey, wow. all right. That might be. Well, at least part of the rocket has embedded itself in the ground, but you can see the engine. Um, compartment did uh, pop out so it looks like the string tangled up the streamer but otherwise it did what it was supposed to do and it is relaunchable so that's that's good news yeah, yeah. that's what happened 
This rocket is called Sparrow. It uses a C motor and it has a different type of deployment than we've ever seen before. It is kind of like a mid deployment instead of the entire engine tube popping off, the fin cluster comes out and detaches from the rest of the rocket. Um, All right. Would you like to say anything? I would like to say I hope it works out okay because Theoretically, it should be brilliant. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Three, two, one. Wow. Very stable. And that, did it deploy? I think it did. Happened. But it's I think it's tangled again. Yeah. It's kind of tumbling over the itself. Rival of all rocketeers, string dynamics. But it's recoverable. Yeah, it's recoverable, but that's too far for a walk, so we'll pick it up at the end. This rocket is titled Windsock XL. It has a classic rear deployment, um, which has actually been quite successful this time. Uh, and a C motor. It's supposed to go 700 feet and reach 150 miles per hour. Nice. All right, Windsock XL. Three, two, one. Ooh, well, some kind of deployment happened. Yeah, it definitely deployed, but it's no tangled again. Parachute. It's, but it is it deployed with. A huh. I don't know why, but I lost battery power there. But we're back. All right, he missed the landing. It's stuck in the ground by its nose. So we'll pick it up at the end. This rocket is called Oriole. It's our second mid deployment of the day. It is also our first D. Um, it should reach 750 feet in the air and 250 miles per hour. Wow. All right, let's give it a shot. Three, two, one. Ooh, very unstable loop to loop. Oof, that was explosion on impact, which is quite rare. So obviously that didn't work out as well as we'd hoped. This rocket is titled Robin. It uses the classic nose cone deployment style. It also has a 32 millimeter D. This rocket should reach 750 feet with a top speed of 190 miles per hour. Awesome, let's check it out. Here we go with Robin. Three, two, one. Very unstable, ladies and gentlemen. And no depl into the pit with no deployment, just ballistic. Wow, I wonder what happened there. Hmm. Hmm. This rocket is called Ren. It also has a D motor like the previous one, and it is mid deployment. Right, and what we've done is we've made some changes to our engine compartment in the back. I've been using a two piece system, and I've redesigned it to have one piece. And so, what you can see here is that outside wall and the inside wall are all one piece to add strength to it and reduce weight. So we'll see if the reduction of weight has um, also messed up my stability. Let's see. Go. Three, Whoop. three, two, one. Really good. Straight as it can be, and perfect, correct deployment, though it looks like the chute hasn't deployed. 
but it's coming down. Oh, the streamer, not a chute. The Oof, that came down a... Somewhere in the sky still. Well, wait, the aft, the streamer's attached to the aft section. Oh. Well, Casper was right. The aft section blew off the streamer connector, and so we got half the rocket back. <laughs> All right, we can use most of it, I think. Yeah. All right, let's try another one. All right. This rocket is called Dove. It has a D24 and should be mid-deploying. Uh, it should also reach 800 feet at 176 miles per hour. Yeah, so we're not exactly sure where it's going to deploy mid because it looks like... It looks like there's glue here and maybe glue here too. Well, I don't know. I may have marked it wrong. Well, let's see what happens. All right. Check it out, Dove D24. Three, two, one. Very stable, it tried to freak out. Whoa, the back end separated from the front end. The front end. Landed way way over, there. over there. And the back end is somewhere. Is somewhere. But we just don't know. Well, that can happen. This rocket is titled Quail. It's also another mid-deployment. It should be deploying right here. Okay. Um, it has a D24, just like the previous one, and should also be going 700 feet. Uh, it has a top speed of 165 miles per hour. All right, let's see how this one goes. All right, well, on this one, I made a mistake, and the uh, retaining ring was too fat and was pressing against the launch rail, so we've taken the retaining ring off. We do think it'll fly still and the engine will stay in. I just don't think it's going to deploy, do you, Casper? I don't think so. I think the second it loses thrust, the engine's going to fall right out and it's going to tumble so down. maybe not because all objects fall at the same rate. So we'll have, we'll to, have see. to see. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Well, yeah. that was terrible. I saw as the... This rocket is called Crow. It's our first E of the day and last rocket of the shoot. It is also a mid-deployment like the previous ones have been, so it may or may not be successful. Uh, it should be reaching about 800 feet in the air with a top speed of 165 miles per hour. All right, let's see what happens. So I just noticed this rocket has one of um, the old motors that uh, Granddad gave us. So there is a chance for all kinds of things. So let's count it down. Three, two, one. Okay, so I think I'm not going to use any more of those that Granddad gave us. Darn. Alright, I can do, I'm going to do the out right now. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go around and pick up all the rockets that have landed in a place where we can get them. Only one of them, I think, went into the pit today. Maybe two. We've gotten lots back. We did learn a lot from this test. I gotta execute better on how we're putting the uh, parachutes and streamers together inside the rocket, but the rear deployment does seem to be viable. You may be asking, why are you so determined to do it that way? One, to see if I can. Two, it's a lot easier to pack and load that way than it is through the nose. But I'll do a mix of nose and rear deployments next time, maybe with some duplicates, one rocket from the rear, one from the nose, just so we can see the difference in success rate, which may or may not talk me out of it altogether. All right, everybody, this has been the October launch. Probably see you in a couple of weeks. Anything to say, Cap? Nothing to say. Nothing to say. <laughs>